Hello, hello, my good, good partners. I hope you're doing well and you're enjoying yourself. This is your farmer, K farmer. I'm here to educate you, and uh, and part of this year I've decided to be doing onion as my main crop, and that's why I'm gaining experience and uh, educating you as well. So today I want us to address the issue of onion pests and onion disease and if times allows we are going to look at part of onion nutrition this is what you have been asking for so as we learn kindly continue to share this information with as many farmers as possible so that we can increase our production per unit area and this will translate to a healthy economy in our nation or where you are so you know as farmers we have two enemies the disease and the pest they are our main main enemy how to fight them um, is the science the science of agriculture is now what we need to understand that help us to fight this enemy called a disease or a pest I'm going to highlight the main disease and the main uh, pest that we have on onions so that first we understand them. Let me start with the pest. And the main pest is the onion tabasi. Is the sorry, the drip tabasi. It's the biggest threat when it comes to the, to pests. Onions, the way they have been created, they are able to resist most of the pest. So, but the main economical uh, pest is the drip tabas. It can really ruin your farm. It can put you to zero if you don't manage it well. So, um, the feeding part is the uh, they stay in the inside the leaf. If this is the leaf, not inside, in between the leaves. That is where your this pest will lay its eggs and it will hatch there and now the adult will be feeding from the sap from the onion from that area so that that knowledge is very important where the pest is because once you're fighting it with a chemical you know where to target it so they stay in between the leaves of the of the of the onion leaves and that is where the sap the 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 what the nutrition <laughs> in your crop so how do we control these pests uh, there may there are various ways to control this pest the basic principles of any farm is to make sure that your farm is clean make sure that your farm is clean once your farm is clean this pest will not have a host plant yeah because they can hide in other weeds you know drip they love the flowers so they you find them hiding in the flowers of many uh, weeds in your farm and other host crop like maybe the previous crop they will hide there and then once you're farming your main crop they will manifest so the basic is to make sure that your crop is clean so that you fight that disease from that angle so the best way to fight pests is using IPM, Integrated Pest Management. You're not using only one method of, um, of targeting the pest, that enemy. You're using different methods of targeting. And Integrated Pest Management says, start with the simplest. Simplest is like your field has to be clean. I have to emphasize on that. Aya. Now, there is now the... There are biological methods that you can use to control this trip. Uh, I will not touch them today because they are quite complex, but though they are simple. Um, but let me today talk of, of uh, chemical method. In chemical method, once you're dealing with trip, you can use the systemic method. The systemic is whereby you the pesticide that you're going to use will get in the system of the of the crop and then once the drip consume it 
it will definitely die. That is one way. The other way is that we have to understand the contact pesticides that we, once you, they come into contact with the skin of the of the pest, it will definitely kill it. So we have the like like me personally. That is what I use most, and I use um, a pesticide like like Ranger. It's a contact pesticide, and it helps a lot in reducing the population of this thing because once you spray it and the, the trip it gets into contact with the trip once it is consuming it it gets killed directly so that is one way of controlling that disease there are so many range of uh, pesticides that help us in controlling this but the basic is to understand how to apply that pesticide most of these pesticides you should not apply them when it is too hot you either do it early in the morning or read in the evening and the, the conditions especially when you're dealing with contact pesticides the conducive environment should be there the humidity of the crop should be uh, should be correct so that your crop is able to your crop <coughs> your, uh, your crop is in a best way to assimilate the, the pesticides the pest Decide. So that is one way. Understand the mode of feeding of that pest. Understand the mode of action of that pesticide that you're using because it will help along the way. If you don't understand that, if your spraying team doesn't understand that, they will be targeting the wrong areas of the where the pest is hiding. So that is that that is the main 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 enemy when it comes to pests. On onions. I hope you have learned something on that. Um, on disease, the main disease that we have on onions in the nursery, we may have dumping off, of which you can control very easily by making sure that your, your nursery is not overpopulated. As you sow your, your seeds, don't overpopulate your seedlings, your, your seed that will translate to become the seedlings. Make sure that you sparingly space your seeds well so that they will not create that conducive environment for dumping off. So make sure that you do that and it helps a lot. So if you work on your on your crop well in the nursery, dumping off you will not get any chance it will not get into in your sight. The other disease that um, we fight you know, on onions is the blight. The blight. Uh, it's brought by the coldness of the change in humidity, especially in the early morning. That that change of temperatures. Yeah, when 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 the crop when we are coming from a cold season and now it's translating the day begin it's now becoming warm that collusion of that change of temperatures we find sometimes at night is very cold at, during the day it's very hot that thing it helps it bring that that aspect of light that affects the leafy part and this one is easy to control always guard your leaves with a protective um, Fungicides like copper, copper-based fungicides, they are good in protective, but they are not curative. If you want to go to the curative part of it, go for the likes of the cabendazine. Yeah, they will help a lot. The likes of Ridomil, they help in making sure that your crop will create resistance against blight. So that is one of the main diseases that helps or it's of economic we say it's of economic importance in farming because it can lower your yield it can bring it down it can pull your yield down so the other disease the purple brooch a very serious disease that can ruin your crop if you are not able to detect it uh, still 
you manage it with the fungicides make sure that you your application of fungicides are either systemic or contact yeah once you're doing uh, not sorry contact you are doing a preventive method of cure of pre you prevent that conducive environment for purple brooch to develop and hereby copper copper based fungicides are important in that aspect so those are the main enemies that i want you to know right now especially when temperatures or environment create that conducive yeah environment for you, for the disease to develop yeah you have to adapt and you have to be ready for that the application part of pesticides and fungicides is the main point train your people or your team of sprayers that team of workers who sprays for you let them understand these things show them the trick educate them on uh, bright how it look like educate them on purple brooch physical they have to understand this is a purple brooch how it behaves how the leaves behave and you get your team on that because they will make your work so easy they will know the target this is the target pest they will be knowing once you're spraying today we are targeting the trip so the method of spray they are going to use will be ideal for that particular enemy that you're fighting so thank you very much keep learning keep uh, advancing keep understanding this they are very basic but once you don't have them that's when we are having a food crisis in our nation learn 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 continue improving your farming system with information because that is the the basic of it uh, dear farmers we are we are cultivating uh, in our language we say kienyeji uh, way just for the sake of food no but if we want to come out of that uh, that danger where we are having inadequate food supply we have to do it from a point of information so that if we look at the, our costs if we monitor our cost of production if the yield improves definitely um, the cost of food will come down and that one is a responsibility of both the government and the farmer thank you very much keep learning this is your own care farmer share this video if, if you find it educative to any farmer and always subscribe thank you